At 103.7 FM, we are CKRK, K103 Gatnawage. Sego Suaguego na Giga Nua Gariwana Gare, Paul Gray, Fujats. Good afternoon. This is K103's new news. After 33 years in one location on the banks of the St. Lawrence Seaway, K103.7 FM Radio CKRK has moved into a new building. This is the first broadcast from the new building on the old Malone Highway across from the old Bedard Quarry. The radio station launched in March 1981 thanks to founder Conway Jocks, Jim Hum, who you just heard, was the first voice heard on air that day. Voting for the Cattery Memorial Hospital Center's Board of Directors continues until 1 o'clock today in the main lobby. Ray Deer and Stephanie Horn are the two nominees for the one opening on the board. Funeral services are ongoing this morning for Karen Dibo, the 33-year-old from Gunnawage, passed away Tuesday. She and her mother, Lynn Dibo, a former K-103 employee, were part of the seven founding mothers and children of Step-by-Step Early Learning Center. The funeral will be held at 10 a.m. at the Poisson and Deer Funeral Home. The Supreme Court of Canada ruled today in favor of the Ontario government's right to permit logging on a First Nations traditional lands. The 7-0 decision comes on the heels of an historic judgment in the Chillicotten case in British Columbia over land where Aboriginal title is claimed. The top court ruling comes after the province decided to issue a logging license on land Grassy Narrows considers its traditional territory. First Nation worried about the adverse effects of clear-cutting on hunting, trapping and drinking water quality. According to the Constitution of 1867, the federal government has exclusive authority over Indians and lands reserved for Indians, but Treaty 3 allowed for the taking up of lands for mining, towns, and forestry, among other things. The Supreme Court found that both levels of government are responsible for filling the treaty promises. That means, according to the court, that Ontario, and only Ontario, has the power to take up lands under Treaty 3. A boil water advisory continues in the southeast sector of the city of Westmount. Residents who live south of Dorchester Boulevard in the town have been under the advisory since Wednesday night. It's believed to have resulted from stagnating water. The city expects to have further test results back tomorrow. Pedestrians will take over St. Catherine Street West downtown in Montreal this weekend between Guy and Blurry Streets as merchants hold an annual sidewalk sale from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow and 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sunday. And Friday, July 25th, has been declared Gino Ojik Day in Kitigan Zibi. The longtime Vancouver Canuck is battling a life-threatening illness. A golf tournament will be held, followed by a, an event for him at the Loberge de Draver in Manawaki. All proceeds will go into a trust fund that will provide for Ojik's medical care and support for his family. All are welcome to attend and can donate to the trust fund by visiting any RBC branch. That's a look at K103 News. K1, K103 Sports in Montreal Alouettes tonight at 7 o'clock at McGill on the Hill. Hosts the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. The Owls are 1-1, one one, Winnipeg 2-0 and o to start the year. Owls GM Jim Pop re-signing a three-year contract extension yesterday. World Lacrosse Championships got underway in Denver, Colorado. Last night, the United States beat Canada 10-7. The Iroquois Nationals play their first game tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. against England in the Blue Division. Paul's Cable in Gunnawagay will carry some of the Nationals games from Sunday through Tuesday on ESPN and ESPN2. That's a look at K103 Sports. Now, K103.7 FM weather. Sunny today, high 27, UV of 9 or very high. Clear tonight, low 15 degrees. Saturday, mainly sunny, high of 30. Sunday, rain in the forecast, a low of 19 and a high of 25. Right now, under continued sunny skies in Midtown Gunawage, we're sitting at 24 degrees. For K103 News, I'm Paul Grafe. News next at 1 o'clock. Now time for the Party Line Talk Show for the first time from the news studios, a special edition with Lori Jacobs on K103 Gunawage. Good afternoon. You're listening to your First Nation station, K103.7 FM, brought to you by JFK Concrete.
aims to bring Ganawage an informative, community-oriented, and diverse talk show. To ensure a variety of voices and opinions, K103 reserves the right to screen calls. Our guests' opinions are not necessarily endorsed by or reflect those of K103 or its management. And now, the Party Line Talk Show on K103.7 FM, Ganawage. Well, well, well. Lori, we're here. Great. And all of our listeners, you're listening to a special edition of the Party Line Talk Show on K103.7 FM, your community station. New Year, no? Lori Jacobs, you does. Uh, it is 23 degrees outside our studios, and that is our new studio that's high uh, next to the Peacekeeper Station. Right across and, from the quarry. Right Who would have thought, Lori, that we would have uh, got, uh, that we would be here today? It's and we, absolutely we amazing. We grew up beside the quarry. I know. So we, this, this is our old stomping ground. <laughs> absolutely. When I heard they were putting the uh, the radio station here, I said, well, that's going to be convenient considering, you know, if I have to go home and make a ham sandwich, I'm in good shape here. Here. Yeah, and, and me too. I'm just, I'm just down the road. <laughs> uh, so today is Friday, July 11th. Oh, here, The party line uh, is going to continue this afternoon with uh, special guest speakers. We're going to be sharing memories and a whole lot more. So come on down. We're located, like Lance just said, uh, at the Gahawaga Peacekeeper Station. We're right next door. We're across from the old Bedard Quarry. We are. And there's going to be some tours of our building. Uh, there's going to be food on sale. There is food on sale right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Uh, we have uh, local sports teams. Uh, there's going to be bingo cards, merchandise for sale, and a whole lot more. So if you're in the listening area, come by, drop by, and... Come into the studio and come right on air with us and tell us uh, what you think of our new building. And uh, yeah, so that'll be great. What we're doing is uh, we're going to be having an opening ceremony Mm -hmm. and a ribbon cutting ceremony of our new building. And so we're just waiting for them to... Let us give us the signal. Absolutely. Uh, But in the meantime, one of the more um, special things that's been happening here in the new building of K103 is preparing for the first turnover from the old building and turning on that switch. And we turn on a switch and everything went well. As soon as the switch was turned, we ran over to news, and we did news, <laughs> and we did a great job over there. So before we continue, I want to give a round of applause to our gentleman that's right over here, Mike Mathieu and Sylvie Gaspé. Give a round of applause for doing an excellent job, guys. Thank you so much. The building looks absolutely beautiful from all the people who did construction here. And, and as well, uh, we also uh, thank everyone uh, who did uh, all the uh, all the work too as well? I think we're going to the tobacco burning, if I'm not mistaken. Sid, are we going to the tobacco burning uh, right no, now? We're, we're not sure what's going we're on not out, sure out right there. Now. That doesn't seem like we're doing that right at this time. Right, right now, right now Gasanahoe Sky Deer is speaking. Uh, Grand Chief Mike Delil was uh, giving a speech. Also, uh, Joe Delarone's there. Daryl Thompson from the MCK Language and Cultural Center outside as well. So are we going live to them? I, you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> there are about 70, 80 people now in the parking lot. So we're just going to wait a few minutes in there. So, Lori, uh, on, on to you and uh, the Party Line Talk Show is in there, Lori. So, Lance, I mean, you were the last, uh, uh, it was your last morning show. So how did that go? And you It know, went well. I was listening to you, and, you know, I had some tears. As, was, you, as you were uh, signing off, I did have some tears. I didn't think that I was going to get as emotional as I thought, but it, I really did, though. Paul, uh, it looks like we're going outside, right? Yes, we are. Uh, Jean Jean is uh, standing by outside now as we go to the ribbon-cutting ceremony. Okay, just 